Statistics is really useful if you've got two options and you want to compare them to see which is better. Uh, you know, if you've got two different drugs and you want to see which is safer or more effective, or if you have two different brands and you want to see which brand is more popular. Here, we have two different brands of popular soft drink, Coca-Cola and Mempsey. They're very popular, you might have heard of them. 20 customers are given each drink and asked to give it a rating out of 10. And a column graph over here shows the results. It's a very nice column graph because it has a, a scale on this axis, a scale on this axis, a label on this axis, a label on this axis, and a title. Okay, so I've got a column graph. You can see, for example, um, that Mempsey, one person gave a three, uh, one person gave a 10 for Mempsey. No one gave Copa Polar a 10 out of 10. Um, and they're quite different. It's not just a case of which is better, which is interesting, which we'll see. It's not just that the one is better, they're good in different ways. And to find that, let's find the range of each brand. The range, you remember, let's try Copa Polar, is the maximum minus the minimum. The largest result, the largest rating that someone gave for Copa Polar is an eight. This person here, this one person gave an eight. And the smallest rating that someone gave is a four. This person gave a result of a four. Do you notice that I'm not finding the maximum frequency and the smallest frequency? I'm looking at the actual ratings that, this, that people gave. One person gave an eight, and this person gave a four. Eight take four. So the range is four. Whereas for Mempsey, the range is the largest rating for Mempsey. This person gave a 10. The smallest rating for Mempsey, this person gave a three. So the range, 10 take three, is seven. So the range for Mempsey is bigger than the range for Copa Polar. Um, from that, we can get an idea. People have very different opinions about Mepsi. There's more variety in how people rate it, whereas Copa Polar is more consistent. Now we can describe the distribution of each data set as well. If we look at Copa Polar, um, it appears to be fairly symmetric. Um, and Mempsey is fairly symmetric too. There is an extra little bit here that's not quite symmetric. You know, an extra one there. But they're both quite close. I'll just draw the curve on top just so you can see. There we go. You can see a nice symmetric curve for Copa Polar. And the same, you know, roughly more or less symmetric for Mempsey as well. So they're both pretty much symmetrically distributed. Which brand is more consistent? Well, we can answer that using this data here. Copa Polar is more consistent. Why? Because the range is smaller. Small range means that the results are more consistent. They're clustered around a very small number of responses. For example, nobody loves Copa Polar, but nobody hates it and gives it a three. So it's consistent. Uh, people generally have a similar opinion about it. We can also find the mean and use that to compare these two brands. We can find the mean rating for Mempsey. Uh, to find the mean rating, we're going to have to add up all of the ratings that people gave. There are a few ways to do this, but to be honest, I think that the easiest is just to list the raw data. What ratings did people actually give? One person gave a rating of three. So, and, and one person gave a rating of four. There are another two people who gave a rating of five. So I'll do two fives. There are another one, two, three, four people that gave a rating of six. One, two, three, four. Another four people gave a rating of seven. One, two, three, four people gave a rating of seven. And another four people gave a rating of eight. Uh, another three people gave a rating of nine, and one person gave a rating of 10. Um, good. So you can see that from this uh, column graph, or bar graph, we can actually get all of the raw data and go back to what the raw data would have been, the responses that people said. 
To find the mean, you might remember that it is the sum divided by the count. You add them all up and divide by how many there are. If we add up all of these numbers, then we will get 138. And if we count how many there are, you can count how many numbers there are here. There are 20. Sum, divide by count, put that in your calculator, and we've got approximately, I've used the approximately equal symbol here, 6.9. So the average rating, 6.9. That makes sense, that would be about here, right? And it looks like that's in the middle of the yellow MEMPSI ratings. Good. Now let's find the median. To find the median, again, well very conveniently, I already have the raw data here. There are a few ways to do it. One way is I can calculate what position it should be in. There are 20 items here. So I can do 20, add 1, and divide by 2. If you ever need to find the position of the median, it's the number of items plus 1, and then all divide by 2. So 21 divided by 2, so it's 10.5. So the median will be between the 10th item and the 11th item. The 10th value, what's the 10th value in this list? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a 7. And the 11th value is also a 7. If you average those, you get 7. Um, obviously, if this was 7 and this was 8, then you would add them together to get 15, and divide by 2 to get 7.5. Um, the median is 7. The median and the mean are very close because it's symmetric distribution. Uh, good. Okay. I could have made you do all of that again for Copapola, but in the interest of saving us some time, I've just said the mean for Copapola is 6. What can you conclude about Coca-Cola? Copa 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 I'll try that again. Cope Coca Cola uh, versus Mepsi. Um, well, generally people prefer Mempsi. Why? Because the mean for Mempsi is higher than the mean for Coca-Cola. We can be specific. The mean is zero, 0 0.6 points higher? 0 0.9 points higher even. Woo! 6, 6.9. The mean is 0 0.9. Apologies for my messy change here. Maybe I'll just uh, scribble that out. And that is 0 0.9 points higher. I think I changed the numbers. Whoopsie. There we go. So generally people prefer Mempsi. But that's not the whole story. Mempsi also has more variation. Um, so people have very different opinions about it. Um, you can tell this because the range is higher. Good. Uh, so now we've seen how we can calculate some statistics for each brand and then make a conclusion based on evidence. Um, really, here I should probably, I wonder if I can put text here. Mm, no. Um, but I should probably say, um, as the range is higher. Uh, just to say how I know that it has more variation. Um, you can make the same argument if the IQR was higher range is, <laughs> uh, this is what happens when I do it live, high, good. You could also say, um, yeah, that the IQR is higher and therefore has more variation. It's less consistent. I hope this has been helpful um, to help you to use statistics to compare things. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.